I just want to have a moment with y'all, okay? I, I like to be transparent because for right now, this is a safe space for the most part. So I want to give a moment of transparency because a lot of times you see videos that's always like, oh, this is how I lost said so-and-so weight, you know, which is great. We love to see the journey, but we don't talk enough about emotional eating. Um, we don't talk enough about why people gain weight um, because I'm going to be honest with you, weight loss is strictly mental. Now, there's certain things that makes it a little bit harder, for example, PCOS, because that's what my channel is dedicated to as well. But a lot of times it's definitely emotional as well. Okay. I've gained 50 pounds and after gaining 50 pounds, I had to have a really good talk with myself about how I allowed myself to get to that place. And also, I'm going to show you, this is what I looked like before. Before I lost the weight, when I was in an unhealthy situation, this is how I looked. I looked drained, depleted, my skin was horrible. And this is how I look, and now I'm gonna show you what I look like once I started taking care of myself, once I started focusing on myself. And then, this is how I looked once I allowed, somebody, once I allowed someone to trigger me, okay? So I'm definitely a highly emotional person. Anytime I get upset, baby, I'm finna chow down. And that feeling that you get from food, I assume it's similar to crack, I don't know. But I'm, you're only gonna feel you know, good for a little bit and the next thing you know, your, your back is wide and you still upset. So previously, just to give you some background, I had lost a significant amount of weight, I wanna say 50 pounds. And, um, it was after going through a really life-changing event, a couple of life-changing events. Um, I was starting to feel like myself. I was starting to feel happy, okay? Um, I was feeling better than I had felt in years. And I picked up running. Um, I did have a little help. I had Fentramine as well. Um, fast forward, I joined a run club, started running races. I was just feeling really good. I had went to therapy. I learned that I lack boundaries. You know, I learned a lot about myself during that time. And then fast forward to two years, I'm, I'm learning I, I gained 50 pounds. And it was a slow creep, but when it creeped, it... And emotionally, I went through, I had a trigger that took me back to the place prior that I had fought through. I had fought, you know, I had went through therapy. I started taking care of myself. I started feeling better. But this trigger was so bad, it took me back to that place I was before I've done all the work in myself. And it took me months to get out of that place. And I want to say damn near a year. Um, it took me back to emotional eating. Um, drinking, um, my belly got my belly got big. It looked like I was pregnant, and I was so ashamed. I didn't want to. I got to a place I did not want to dress up. Um, I did not want to do my hair. Like I didn't want to do anything. I just had a big old belly and hair all over my head because I no longer, um, I no longer was happy with myself. I was no longer in a happy place, and. One thing about this weight loss journey is that you definitely have to mentally know what triggers you. You have to definitely mentally know, okay, X, Y, and Z triggers binging. So what can I do to avoid X, Y, and Z? What can I do when, I, when I'm triggered so I can avoid putting the fork in my mouth? You know what I'm saying? So I had to learn those things and I'm still learning those things because that same trigger triggered me I want to say was it Monday and I wanted to go back to what I know best which was putting food in my mouth and I didn't and I'm very proud of myself and emotionally I still kind of feel it but I'm telling myself do you want to year after year allow this emotion to bring you back to a dark place like are you're never going to reach your goals if you allow this situation to always trigger you and I got to a place where I was telling myself, I am fed up. I am fed up with your bullshit. And uh, you're stronger than this. You should know how to control your emotions. And that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to find healthy ways to cope when I'm emotionally triggered. And one thing is, I'm. and you know what really brought me to this? I used to be an Adele fan. She, she's good, but her music was a little depressing, but she, she has really good music. And she, you've, you've seen her go from point A to point B. She, she's been married, divorced, now she lost a lot of weight. She's, she has a new life. 
and she was saying that you won't see me for a while because I want to um, focus on my new life that I built for myself. And I, I listened to her say that like at least five times. And that spoke to me because I want to build a new life for myself where I do not allow certain people or certain things to trigger me. Because while that, while, you know, people are setting you off and setting you behind, they're moving on with their lives. You know, they don't know how they're affecting you. They don't know how they make you feel. You get what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, emotionally, I'm realizing that weight loss is all, is mostly mental. And one of the challenge is going to be controlling my triggers. So I'm going to have to incorporate that some way as well on how to um, control my triggers. So I'm not set back because I do never, I never want to see 267 on a scale because I was triggered. Point blank, period. Familiar, um, I am on a weight loss journey. I document my journey on YouTube. Um, so you can follow my journey here. Um, if you would like to, if you're, you know, I'm on an inter inter intermittent fasting journey. I am down close to 20 pounds, getting my groove back. I'm on a journey to lose 100 pounds. So if you, if you want to vibe, just um, subscribe here. But thank you so much for watching my video. And until next time.